It was on September 9, 2018 when Yehai Mohabatane and Kayanki Saz by Kapi Bahuthai actor, Sumit Sachdev gave his fans the sad news of his wife, Amrita Gujral's unfortunate miscarriage. Amrita was fired from her job owing to the termination of her maternity leave and within 20 minutes of learning about her job, she suffered the miscarriage. Now, the media portal, Spot Boy, reached out to Sumit Sachdev and questioned him about the tragedy. Starting off with Amrita's workplace and her maternity leave, Sumit revealed, My wife Amrita was working for a hotel in Goa that has its head office in Mumbai. The first trimester of pregnancy is supposed to be the most delicate time, and you have to be very careful. Doctors had advised Amrita bed rest and, since she had a lot of paid leaves, her boss suggested that she avail them. He further added, he requested her to be available on phone and email while at home. So, in a way she was made to work for two months while being on leave. In fact, he also promised to her that she could work from home after two months paid leave ended till she delivers and her maternity leave officially starts. It sounded like a fair deal to us as she is a very senior person and was working in the position of vice president of sales and marketing, so they were very much dependent on her. So, when did he and Amrita got to know that they had lost their baby? On being asked this, Sumit replied, her first trimester finished around July 1, and on around July 26-27, her boss came over to our house to meet her, when again he promised she could continue working from home. But soon after, he withdrew the offer and asked my wife to report to office. I can't permit you to work from home, he said. When we consulted the doctor, she said, Amrita could slowly and gradually resume her normal routine. The scan after trimester was perfect. We also saw our baby moving around. And it was an amazing feeling, I would say. Amrita joined office on August 1st. But when she went to the office, her boss asked her to report in Goa the very next day at the pretext of some important official meetings. and he intentionally extended her trip for another four days, making her work on the weekend as well. It's always been a five-day work week for her, from Monday to Friday, she has never worked weekends before. Amrita was a little worried that knowing her condition, her boss was making her work beyond her call of duty. Dot when Spot Boy had asked Sumit if his wife was able to figure out why her boss was behaving so, he retorted, yes, later she came to know that her boss, Pralit Advani, had been having an extramarital affair with someone Amrita knew. He was on the verge of breaking up with this lady, and hence, Amrita was called to go, uh, to talk the lady into patching up with Pralit. The moment she realized it, Amrita backed off saying it was none of her business. I am going to stay in my room or office in the hotel, but don't expect me to sort your personal matters please, she told him. Later, he confessed about the affair to his wife, who got very angry and blasted Amrita over the phone. She accused Amrita of keeping her in the dark about her husband's extramarital affair. Sadly, Amrita became the bad person in all of this. I was in Mumbai, shooting when she called me, she was worried, and I asked her to distance herself from everything and not stress. But subconsciously it kept playing on her mind. So, when did Amrita got back to Mumbai from Goa? Sumit answered, she came back on August 6th and was looking extremely tired and weak, so the same day we went to the doctor, where he clearly told us that she needed bed rest. And keeping her health on priority we decided she will go on unpaid leave. Before we could inform her boss about it, her water broke the very next day I. He August 7 midnight. She was admitted to the hospital on August 8th in Mumbai. The baby was fine, heartbeat was fine, but all the fluid had already drained. 
she was kept under observation at the hospital, and her movements were restricted. And he further added, then she was kept on a head low position, at a 25 30 degrees angle. Because the amniotic fluid cannot be medically put back in, it has to be generated by the body. So she was hospitalized from 8 11 August. She was allowed to be back home, but the doctor asked her to take complete bed rest, in the said position, bent at an angle. So, I rented a special bed, that would enable what the doctor wanted. The day she got hospitalized she emailed her boss informing her condition, mentioning she would keep him posted about resuming office. He replied saying, take care. On August 13th she sent him another email, which went without a reply from him. Narrating the subsequent incidents, Sumit was quoted as saying, On August 14th she couldn't access her official mail and all of a sudden, she was deleted from all websites.